Hi, this is Cycle 2, Week 16. We are doing Claude Monet this week, one of the more well-known artists. Um, I have a cool quote by him if you want to read that. And there is a um, YouTube Maddie and Dada video if you want to watch that in your class. Um, I think it's a good summary of what he did and how he acted, but you can also send that home with your parents. Um, our three main facts to remember. So the big thing is, is that he invented impressionism. Like he invented it. It's who, what he did. Um, and I'll get into what that is. Um, he liked to paint outdoors, um, and his favorite subjects were trees, fields, ocean. Um, and so you can see that in the first picture: fields, oceans, trees, all of those things. Um, one of the ideas of impressionism is that it's accessible to everyone so if you think about like for anyone that was in the class last year was in that cycle was it was very proper people sitting like this and posing for a picture and he is doing things like this where like these people are just sitting looking at the water or even um, this one people are just walking like anyone is um, anyone can be in a painting and that's a big deal. Impressionism also has this idea about light and how it changes the subject. This is a good one behind me, actually. Um, and the brush strokes aren't as clean. It's not this perfect. We're getting away from the perfect. Like, if you think about Leonardo da Vinci and um, the Renaissance, like, that was just as perfect as you could be. And now we're, like, swinging away from that. And it's not that you don't know what these images are. But if you look, there's just, they're brush strokes. They're not clean. They're not perfect. But yet you know what it is. So that is um, kind of what he did. So he, Impressionism was a huge one. Um, he liked to paint landscapes. That was another one. And um, he used small, thin, visible brush strokes. So those are your three main facts. Your pictures go along with it. Please paperclip and post a note. I know I say that every time, but I just want to remind you because not everyone does it. <laughs> so I just want to remind you that if you're second, please try and do it. Um, myself included. So this week we're going to do um, like his lilies over water. Um, we're kind of going to do that. Everyone is going to get a piece of paper and a tape from your bag. It is not labeled, but it is look, has all these little tapes in it. It does not matter what color they get, they're gonna paint over it and they're gonna rip it off. Just give them a color, doesn't matter. Um, I also have to use artist palettes and a paintbrush, but I'm actually gonna show a way that I think is gonna be better. So you can do it that way and let them like put paint in here and put it on and then they can paint on. I think they're gonna need too much paint and I don't think it's gonna work. But if you wanna do it that way, that's totally fine. So what I, so the first thing I have to do, don't mind my bottom part because I need it to get a little bit further on it, but you are going to tape a bridge across your paper. Um, so you can do this either by taking short, thin pieces of tape and you know how like you can make an arc if you tape it and then tape it and then tape it like that. Okay. The other, I just did this. I don't know that a lot of kids are going to be able to move their tape, obviously mine's not perfect, but you can move it and arc it. I also did this fast, so I just could, I just wanted to get it done. Um, but the biggest thing is leave some on, you can actually leave it on both ends, I just didn't do it on this end, but leave it on both ends because we're actually gonna tear this away and it's gonna be easier. So here is what I did and I thought it worked really well. I did the bottom already, but I'm gonna do the top. You're gonna use these temper paints. If you are running low on them, here's what I suggest. If you're running low on just one color, talk to kids about being economical and using what we have and we're getting towards the end of the year and paint dries out and all of these things um and artists didn't always have what they wanted and they a lot of times were really poor and so they just had to use what people were giving them um it's not exactly the case in ours but you can use talk about being economical and using what the lord has given us and the other thing, if you're really low on all of them, then let us know and we can get you some more and we'll order them for sure. But let's try and use what we have. So our goal is to get some sort of water color underneath. And this can be um, really can be greens, blues, um, whites, blacks, 
you know, kind of that color. Above, we're gonna get some brighter colors in there um, for like a sunny day. You actually don't even have to have it be a sunny. It could be a night. So you could get some black in there if you have boys that wanna do that. That's totally fine. But I'm gonna show you. So I picked, I'm gonna pick orange, yellow, and purple for my top. And here's what I'm gonna do. So I don't want a lot of purple because it's gonna overtake. But, so what I did is I just dribbled, and I'm gonna show you how much, a little bit on, like that. Kids are gonna get messy today. So, yeah, hopefully they're okay with that. If not, then there are gloves. If they really don't wanna get messy, there are gloves in that blue bin that says scissors in your green, I'm looking at it, in your green um, tote. So if they really, really don't wanna get messy. Okay, so do you see how I'm doing this? I probably didn't put on too much orange. I'm just gonna put on a little bit of yellow. And then, I'm gonna take my finger, and you wanna obviously roll the tape, and you'll see why in a second. And I'm just gonna kinda, okay, yeah, you can see, good. So some of it I'm gonna dab, some of it I'm going to swirl. See how that kind of gets cool there? Biggest thing is that you wanna get over the bridge and then kinda do this up so you guys can see it. Um, you wanna connect these two. And that's okay if it gets a little bit muddy. There we go, now you can see. I'm gonna do a little bit more so you can get the idea. So I'm gonna combine this. I'm gonna do a little just dabbing up here. Okay, you can fast forward this part, but you get what I'm doing, okay? And maybe you only do two colors. This is looking a little muddy. I don't know that I maybe should have added as much purple, but you get, you get the point. Okay, so you kind of get that it's water over a bridge. Let me wipe myself off. And then you shouldn't need to wait on your timing. And you can pull off, okay, yeah, you can see. You can pull off your tape. Let me just set that down, sorry. And you can see what's gonna happen. It's gonna become a bridge. Cool? Awesome. All right, good luck.